Hi guys, Paul Gold here, and let's have a look at how our new 17-time Grand Slam champion, Roger Federer, can help you with one of the most important shots in the game. So, what we're going to do is we're going to roll this clip forwards and have a look at it. And this is shot from last week when I was uh, on centre court, and I was just obviously focusing on Federer for a second. And there's lots of stuff we can learn from this one clip, and I'm going to dissect it uh, bit by bit, but today I just want to have a look at how you can do something incredibly simple for the most basic shot and probably the most important shot in the game, especially when you're rallying. So good selection here of forehand and backhands, uh, sliced and uh, driven as well, single-handed backhands as we know. So what I want to do is, as Federer finishes this point off, is drill down and let's have a look at exactly what's behind the geometry and how you can use it. So one of the most basic shots you need to have in your game on a consistent basis is the cross court shot. Now the trick here is when you want to be really consistent and keep the ball in a nice safe cross court position, you hit the ball directly over the net strap. Now you do that for a couple of reasons. Obviously the net strap will be the lowest part of the net. Don't forget the net gets higher as it goes out towards the net posts. But also what will happen is you will get the ball into a much bigger area, meaning that you're more likely to keep the ball in. So let's have a look at how Federer does that. You can see he's played that return well away from the net strap there to hit it down the line. This inside out forehand is in a nice safe area. And this backhand slice is away from the net strap, but he's trying to bring it over to the sideline. Whereas this one, which is just a holding shot safely into the middle of the cross court area, as this inside out forehand is there, he's not really trying to drive that one. Running forehand, because he's on the run, it's over the net strap to get it cross court and again because he's on the run the other way over the net strap to keep the ball safely in and again look how many times he's hitting directly over the net strap to keep that safe now that one he sees the ball slightly shorter so he can take that on away from the net strap to hit it in the corner and that's what forces the error so to sum up, the very, very simple thing you need to be doing and thinking about is when you've got a safety shot, a rally shot, a shot that you're just trying to keep going, keep in play, and don't forget hitting cross court on a consistent basis is vital if you want to be successful. Just use the net strap. A lot of people don't have something to aim for visually or even in their, in their mind's eye, but just using the net strap and hitting your balls over will keep the ball safely in the middle of the cross court area, which will mean your consistency rates will fly through the roof. You win more rallies, more points and more matches. Hope that helped you. Let me know what you thought by uh, leaving me a comment below and liking the video if you, if you liked it. And I'll speak to you soon.